guys, today I wanted to shoot a real quick video here on this channel around keeping your feet warm while bow hunting. Sounds simple, sounds easy. We have faced the issue of, we like the oh, hiker or lace-up style boots for our hunts and obviously those aren't super packed with insulation and we don't really want them to because working up a sweat hiking in and, and hunting hard on, on the hills, you know, we want that, that more athletic boot, if you will. And so obviously there's some products on the market here like the Arctic Shield boot covers. Um, but we have found that, that these are awesome. Don't get me wrong, these are the, the cat's meow. Uh, these definitely do a great job. Definitely look at hunting uh, late season in these. But you know, these don't exactly pack the best. You know, they don't pack the worst, but um, definitely a bigger item. Uh, something else I, I'm not a huge fan of is that issue there. I, w I actually took uh, an old t-shirt and hot glued or super glued some, some t-shirt material on the bottom side there on my, my other set of those. But something we have done for years is taken a hunting sock and cut it in half. You only actually really need one. And what we do here then is we take our hiker boot and we insert and this essentially creates a mitt. And you're like, there is no way. And we thought the same thing. We're like, we must be just thinking our feet are warmer. And then we had a, a group of six buddies try it. One guy's out of a climber. Another guy was hunting on the ground. And we all noticed our toes stayed significantly warmer, especially in the stand. I think the stand is, is, is key because it literally separates your metal tree stand that is you know, out there in the 20s and 30 degree temps that is sitting right on your boots. Now you've got a, a little piece of insulation between that. And obviously you've got insulation between you and the, the general air. Uh, you can also jam a, a toe or hand warmer in these and we do that as well, seems to help. The other thing kind of to note about all this is these pack super nice, literally fold up. You can throw that in a pocket of a vest or something like that and uh, not be packing in these. Because like I said, during the rut generally too, it's it's not as cold. But 20s and 30s, throw these puppies on. Uh, the If you have two socks, I kind of think this the, the top half of the sock where you got the elastic material is a little easier to get over the boot. There's not as much stretch here. Uh, so a bigger socks too, it could be an option. You know, so so that's kind of our trick for, for essentially solving some cold toes during the rut where, where your toes generally will freeze and, and that'll get you out of the stand. And so, yeah, that's a, that's a tactic right there to just get more stand time in. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you subscribe to the channel. Team Harder and Bucks. That was a terrible exit. Team Harder and Bucks, we're out.